<laughs> welcome, welcome everybody to the Cold Classic Horror Show. Danny Bonin here with you guys. Scotty Bonin here with you guys. We are the, the Blood Brothers. Brothers. And I, I oh, I don't know. I'm trying to talk to Robin. And Carmelo Chimera. Today's episode, we are watching Halloween Ends. Has everyone seen this? Yes. I, I, I do like the evolution of the Blumhouse I logo. Okay. Do you guys remember the old Blumhouse logo that was like just the chair going around and the yeah. girl in the corner of the room? Mm -hmm. I like the evolution of it. I do too. I kind of like the old one though, but uh, now it has, uh, it's, it's broad. It has more to it. See, in the <laughs> Rob, I, you get let down because in the preview for a split second, you think the guy in the train hat is Charlotte Copley, and it's not because he, he just looks sort of like him. Who is that? That guy yeah. looks familiar. I thought it was. I really thought it was him. No, no, his name, no. Is his name Jack William Marshall? That's him. It's a fun little John Carpenter nod. He always puts other movies in his movies. You know? Yeah. How old is this kid? Is he old enough to be watching, you know, horror movies? Oh, love it. Ooh. Let's just watch the thing. Uh, yeah, the thing. I, I when they put movies I'd rather watch in the movies I don't want to watch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but we all agreed, like, it's better to watch a movie you don't like, right? When we oh, watch live sure. commentary. For sure. Yeah. Uh, these commentaries. This was Rob's point was like, when we when we do Evil Dead or Exorcist, we just sit here silently for an hour and a half going, that was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> they really did uh, minimal Halloween decorating on this house here. The railings, and that's it. I sort of took that to be like the whole town is kind of soured on the holiday after, uh, mm. you know. Yeah. Had mm -hmm. Haddonfield has had it. Unpopular opinion here. I know this kid, the entire motive of this movie stems from this moment here, but let's be honest. The, this little kid, I'm not saying he deserved to die, but... I'm saying he deserved to die. He kind of hated coming. Is all I'm. Uh oh, He's my right camera has gone out. All right, what's happening now? The family's about to come home and watch this punk ass little bitch get dropped on his ass, and he has it coming. All right, he does it. Oh anymore. yeah, now I'm remembering this. I don't. I so, so the guy with the knife is—is is he watching the kid? What? Yeah. What is, well, he's yeah. trying to. Instead, he's getting jerked he's, around. He's babysitting. Yeah. Right. Let me, let me out. That's right. Oh shit, mommy's home. Let me out of here. Also, how long have they been gone? They hire a babysitter to go out for the length of time of the movie, The Thing? Like... Yeah, really. Yeah, I'd probably say, what, like two, three hours? No, that's not the length of the movie, The Thing. Hour also, and what's half? their costume thing? She's <laughs> like a and flapper half. and he's like a train conductor? What the yeah, they don't match that? at all. They, they, no. They, you're supposed yeah. to coordinate when you go to they a party. They didn't coordinate. Yeah, they were, they, they were gone for like oh, 30 minutes. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, oh God. Oh. That's so good. Oh. That's that's I forgot about that part. That was really good. Oh, oh God! I don't think he's getting paid for babysitting. No, it's a good I... thing he had that knife with him. God. Yeah, put down the knife, you guilty looking yeah. motherfucker! Oh my God. Yeah, dude, that's a blow, man. Woo! Ooh, you can't deny the soundtrack, though. I must you admit, can't deny the soundtrack. That's no. a pretty good opening. I I, it's admit. a great opening. It's a great. <laughs> that really... That's a really good opening. Yeah. I like this. I like this whole storyline because every time they try to give Michael Myers backstory, like the Curse of Thorn or Rob Zombies, everyone hates it. Now, you know, I kind of like the Rob Zombie background, but people like the mystery, right? So yeah. now's your chance to do like a maybe this is the kind of thing that happened to Michael, but we can't touch Michael because he's like holy. Like, you know, you start like a riot the way you do if you put a cartoon. Yeah, but I mean, like this backstory's right? so, got nothing to do with Michael. Yeah. Just this. This just. Just this cuckold incel who just like somehow makes right. out with Michael and takes his powers. Like Right, they can write whatever backstory they want for this <laughs> incel, right? But they, the second they give Michael Myers a middle name, people riot. Yeah. I will give this movie some as it definitely goes into the shitty movie realm of just showing tons of B-roll from other from the movies. old movie yeah <laughs> yeah which is kind of cool to see that b-roll of the classic yeah b-roll of better movies b-roll better movies yeah not, not bad as far as a recap is going yeah. the sizzle reel of michael's greatest hit evil dies tonight evil dies tonight she's getting after the decorations that's good that's what i mean why why did she decide to move on now yeah. Because she hated her daughter. It has been four years. <laughs> I think we like, I think we, yeah. 
She hated her daughter. It's okay. So here I am. We just missed, you know, in between the two films, she had a lot of therapy they didn't mention, and, and she's over it. Right. So for 40 years, no therapy. No therapy. The four years in between one and three. She got on that uh, the chat therapy service, whatever that's called. She, oh, BetterHelp. Yeah, yeah BetterHelp. She didn't even, like, meet her therapist in person. That's right. She this, was... this episode brought to you by BetterHelp. Oh, here's a great <laughs> present for you, honey. It's your dead mother's wedding rings. <laughs> Yeah, because both your parents were murdered on the same night. Remember when I stood there and did nothing? Yeah, there you go. I may actually have rather watch Rob Zombie's Halloween's than this. Yeah, yeah. We'll just wait yeah, for doesn't this. he look like he's like 20 years older than this girl? Yeah, Jesus. definitely. Mm -hmm. Just hit nutter. Looked like your muff's about to fall off. Does anybody put a creepy little cave in the bridge the serial killer would probably live in? Should probably go no check one. that out. <laughs> yeah. In the novelization of the movie, they explain that this homeless guy basically like feeds Michael victims from time to time and implies oh. this is the part where a grown ass 20 something year old man gets bullied by a bunch of 16 year old twinks. <laughs> What's the band kid? These aren't even the football players. They're no, band they're, ban no, they're band kids. His uh, letter jacket says 2023, so it's currently current time here. Oh, uh, they couldn't even get you who in the movie. You can tell that's some like generic chocolate drink. Yeah, yeah. I think I should do the uh, cut my hair like that kid right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got the, the bullet, bullet, and then he dyed his uh, eyebrows blonde. Yeah. Bleached him. Each of these kids looks like they deserve to be bullied or dropped over a railing. Either way. Yeah. Yeah. Don't piss this kid off, man. Do not piss him off. <laughs> Why are the band kids bullying him? Why is he able to be bullied by band kids? I know, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, here comes Lori. She's got that Ford Ranger is reliable. It is a very reliable car. Yeah. I'm gonna pick on her too. Yeah, that kid's got it. And why doesn't Lori just like throat punch one of them? Oh, ow. Yeah, God. Sure. They, they press hurts. charges, Rob. Yeah, but after they cut that kid's hand open, like. You know. That's true. Does this take place in 2023? I love how well, she's well, looking at him like... 2023 on it. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah. What's she's that looking wrong? at him like, oh, I bet he just got bullied by a bunch of 13-year-olds. Instantly I'd like, aroused. I'd like to take that for a ride. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even, like, smile. He, like, looks at her all creepy, and she's like, oh, yeah. Are we on Halloween right now? <laughs> Is this Halloween day? Like, I don't think so. sure. I think it's a couple nights before. Okay, I was gonna say, like, who carves pumpkins on actual Halloween? Like, you, you just, you know, you I've done it. it once in a while. I've done really? it. Really? Okay. It if it's like it the last minute. Like I did it like the night before, usually. Oh, look at this rebel without a, without a cause here, or a helmet. That's not safe. Yeah. He's got mad, mad riz, man. Damn. He's her up. Yeah, hitting on her, and he knows good and well he can't get an erection unless he watches somebody else making out with her. Yeah. <laughs> That's I where like Rob... He's not just an incel, he's an incel cuck. <laughs> of course he's an incel cuck. It's the worst kind. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Do you see what he did to my sister? He killed her husband. It's not her fault that Michael Myers killed your sister. And yeah, your I don't get this line of reasoning at all. This whole like, it's your monster. Like, fuck you. I'm his fucking victim. Go to hell. Yeah, It's not like her I, fault. I honestly think that the directors and writers of this, after that Halloween Kills, were like, look, we're done. This is so bad. Pam Greer's quit. We're out of this. We can go back to making decent shit. And they're like, hey, we greenlit the third one. Like, oh, fuck. So the daughter's out now with... Oh, him. Okay, with him. The daughter's Alice out doing Corey. typical nurse stuff. Getting hammered ass drunk, blackout drunk with some random loser. And then she's going to show up the next day and, you know, give you a tetanus shot. Yeah. What do you think about this? Like, should the mom... Like, should he never be allowed to have a good time ever again? Because her son died? Yeah, but yeah. see, he didn't actually kill that child. It was an oopsie. It was an oopsie doopsies, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, come on. You, are we really going to give him credit for an oopsie? Well, she. I understand why she's upset, but also she might be being irrational, hoping that he's never happy again. Oh, man, that's not a good sweater. 
It's not really a good look. I for forgot him. how these two met again. They met at the junkyard. Is that right? No, they met at the hospital with the hand. Oh, he yeah. He had the masturbation injury in his hand, and she. Yeah, that's right. right. Oh, yeah. I knew that. I knew that. Remember, he was in the hospital on the verge of tears, like yeah, he was and 90% he kicked, of this he movie. Kicked, kick, he kicked over the stand, and yep, I remember now. Is that missing girl on the billboard a victim from an earlier movie? Because if so, why is like. Know. She's not missing. Michael fucking killed her, right? So why I don't think so. I don't think Michael's killing anybody in this movie. Well, before you were saying though, right? I'm just wondering why is that missing person's billboard up there? It's not significant to the story, right? So like, Well, they probably saw it in like The Lost Boys, and that was a good movie, and they're like, Oh shit, do that. Sure. I mean, he's getting his ass beat by a non binary band student with a mullet. Wow, that was, was easy. Sticks. Dude, he like outweighs each at least 20 pounds. I know. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. man. I don't know why these guys are bullying him. If everyone in the town thinks he's a killer, all this kid has to be like is, I killed one kid, I'll fucking kill you too. Like... This gets depicted in movies all the time, like bullying like this, where literally like one party is completely innocent and the other party is literally just bullying the shit out of someone. And I, I realize that probably does exist here and there, but I just don't think it's as rampant as movies make it seem. <laughs> no, yeah, it's actually certainly, no, certainly it's, not it's actually, to this level. It's not. Yeah. I mean, I was a fat kid my whole life, and <laughs> I was never even bullied. I'm sure people were bullied, but as the short fat kid, like I was maybe picked on occasionally, but no, I was never like thrown off of a bridge. Yeah, me neither. I've never been didn't, like, throw because you were the bully. You were, no. you were the one throwing the kid off the bridge. I could have no. been a bully. I mean, that was the lesson I learned from bullying is if you're the biggest bully in the room, no one can bully you. There you he is. Fucker. We finally see. That. We see Michael finally. The official yeah. trivia says there 38 is. minutes into the movie, but I'm counting 41 minutes before we 40 see 40 minutes. It. Has it been that long? Oh, yeah, it has. You finally minutes. see him 40 wow. minutes in, and that's that's what uh, Chris Sherra said. I think he shows up here 40 minutes. You were right, Chris. Robin and said that, he... And so, like, is this some kind of, like, transference of power or something? Is that what like happened? Michael saw the evil in the eyes that he has, and, like... Uh, do you think they the... both got erect at the same time, and they kind of, like, docked? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Each yeah other. That's, that happened. One of sure. them has to be uncircumcised. And he's like, "What the hell just happened? Oh my though. god, what was that?" Right, Rob. One has to be uncircumcised. The doctor. I think so, and that's why I'm not circumcised. Oh, so, in you case aren't? anybody was what? No, of course not. I got then, then we are destined to be together. There we go. Oh, he stabs the oh, guy. Oh, come on! You're you're stabbing his. Michael's assistant. I mean, what else can you do when you have homeless man breath right in your face? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, get, well, get out of my up. face. <laughs> see, see, now Michael has to recruit him because he killed his old man assistant. It's like, well, now i got to pick up the kid as, to do all my dirty work for me. Have you been docking with that homeless man again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Corey. Um, that, that's Stop your older, that's with the your homeless older brother's Huckberry sweater you've got blood on. <laughs> this guy's staring at the mirror and i'm just like wish there was like lincoln park playing in the background yeah he just has that look like his parents took his his uh nintendo 360 away what's yes. happening now i don't know he's all like just touch it just the tip one he's time. like i'm sorry i disappeared last night come on would you please fuck somebody else in front of me please he's like your 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 leathery grandma <laughs> got me your leathery grandma has now got me involved in your family dynamic yeah, but now then, Lori, who previously hooked him up with her daughter her granddaughter is now like wait a minute my michael meyer sense is tingling doesn't this girl give you a katie holmes vibe she does actually. yeah yeah she looks like she's sleep with tom cruise for money the blood stain sure. is still there the house so did you they just they would dip? sell just, how rich are these people that they couldn't sell this house yeah like they just they just wanted to they just left after their son died. i mean this is a nice house is how can like, they not sell it this was 2023 yeah right oh the real estate market was booming and and like it wasn't like there was a killer running rampant in the house it was an accidental death like they could have cleaned the blood spill up and sell the house for like half a mil could have at least sold it at a discount. I would have bought it. This lady woke up this morning and was like, thought she's so cute because she matched her purple outfits and everything. <laughs> she's like, oh, this is her ex-boyfriend who's like 40. Yep, apparently. Okay. I don't Are they ex? Is that the ex or is he just hitting on her? Or he just wanted to. Yeah, he was just hitting on her. They, they have never dated, right? 
I just want to say real quick about guys who are hitting on girls that are out of their league. I, I, I want to say to all the men out there, every girl's in your league because every gorgeous woman I know has dated trolls, absolute trolls. And all they did was show up to the fight. That's all True they enough. did to win that fight. True so enough. you too could win that fight. Just don't be creepy like this guy. Right. Just act like you've been there before. Don't be a fucking weirdo. And yeah. it'll be fine. It's all about yeah. confidence. It's all about confidence. <laughs> all See, about confidence. Cor Corey's got confidence now. I don't mind the all song. the Blumhouse movies use the band Ghost for their songs, and that band fucking rocks. Is this a Ghost song? I don't know if this is. I'm just saying generally I, the music in this movie. I'm not usually a fan of Ghost, but I haven't heard a lot of them, so. So we don't know the date right currently right now is it is it it must be after halloween yeah i think they'll do the thing where they say like hollow like october 31st before it's yeah halloween. okay that here we are with the dead homeless man who is that Cops oh this down. part sucks balls this is <laughs> like show me how to kill him uh you already killed somebody man you don't need any pointers that's true he killed the homeless man yeah you've killed two people you've killed more people than michael here comes... in this yeah it's because of this teleparty app you sent me. Oh, you put a virus is. on my oh. computer. Fucking it's egg. working for me just fine. Oh, like Michael, like Michael couldn't take him. What a bunch of shit. Get oh, up! God. He's been really hurt. Maybe he's just really hurt. He just wouldn't shy away. Oh, here like comes that. the music. Oh, shit. And he has the, the classic kitchen knife stuck into a rock. Here, Michael, get him for me. Michael does not look good in this. He, I mean, he looks good, but he looks like he's not, uh, he's not well. It does look like he gets more powerful the more people he kills. But he, I like, I think he passes his strength to Corey, and as Corey kills more, it becomes even more incelish. His power grows, and then he takes his power back from Corey. Actually, yeah, I think that's exactly what happens. That yeah. Is, see, that that makes sense. Shit. I know what's going on? So, you, so maybe he just got more powerful right after that kill. It's, it's, it's taking effect right now. Well, why would she know what's happening to you? She's this like, relationship she just, she is just brutally new. murdered her ex-boyfriend. Yeah, it really is. She's probably like, you smell like a homeless man. Yeah. Have like, you been docking in the sewers again? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know about that? In 78, Michael is like 23, right? Because he's eight years old and he kills his first sister. Then he's in, in uh, busy? 15 years in the asylum. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Work, old man. Right. So that would put him at, what are we? 23? Oh, no. well, now. What, what, oh, now. What would he so be then now? 40 years, 63. This movie's four oh. years later. So he's 67 years old at this point. Yeah. Okay. Really? Wow. And he, he received no treatment for his injuries at the hands of that mob in the last one. So that's I think true. that's why he's all fucked up. So that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. He's supernatural. That's what we thought. Apparently not. I think, I think he is because he's, he's, He's teleporting his powers through doc through penile docking, oh. and then he survived a burning house and yeah. all the others. I mean, how does he keep? How does he survive? He is supernatural. It's just the evil. There's the uh, housewives lady, Kyle Richards. Oh, this is wonderful to be te telling the random bartender. I've seen Michael's eyes she, and Corey. She was okay. in the original one. Kyle Richards yeah. was too. That's right. It's not the same actress, though, right? Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. What's he ranting about? Uh, something about Corey being a cuck. I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. She played Lindsay in the 78 version. Is that the babysitter? Oh, no. That was the, that was the girl, wasn't it? Wasn't Lindsay the, the Oh, girl the, the girl that was... Yeah, that was being babysat. Sat. Young girl. The young girl. I'm pretty sure. So this is just the nurse is. girl now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That works with... This is a doctor? Is this a, doc a doctor? Yeah, it's a doctor and the better looking nurse. No, I'm, I'm I'm watching this nurse get her promotion. All right. Yeah, now she's about to work for it. Giggity. Oh my have. god, he got me a kimono from AliExpress. Oh, That's cool. Cool shower. Got the old outdoor faucets. Yeah, but I say it's got faucet the old things. sprinkler faucets on it. <clears throat> I like that. Doctor Mathis, what a shyster! He makes her call her, makes her call him doctor. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> you gotta call me doctor, baby. That's how I. That's what I like. It gets me horny. He looks like the kind of guy that would insist on that. Oh, yeah. for sure. <laughs> call me doctor. You will not call me David. Call me doctor. 
Oh! Oh, he's wearing a clown mask. Oh, is it a scarecrow? I think it's a scarecrow. Yeah, Michael, yeah. So. Ju Junior Michael Myers. I like that. Now, I'm trying to remember back to when I watched this. Is there a reason he chose her and this house and that guy? I don't, I, will, don't, I don't even know how he would know that they would be at the house. I think it has something to do with her getting promoted over Allison and her Allison uh, was bitching about it. I yeah, think. or Allison yeah. should have put out. Well, and, and the doctor didn't really oh, treat Allison. Tag like team. Good. Tag team. Is this finally the first kill that happens with Myers? No, he killed the guy in the sewer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. While yeah, Corey yeah. held him. Yeah. This is his first solo kill. Well, it's a good idea, kid. Leave your blood at the scene, fucking idiot. Oh, these cops don't have DNA. Not in 2023. Everything in this town is Michael Myers. Every oh, car accident, there it goes. every murder. Is this going to be an homage to the closet, Hig? Yeah, and everyone, that. he's going to tilt his head and say, huh. Yeah. Every, every Halloween movie since. Or the uh, pantry, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's such a good moment, but like... I it's think they missed done. the point. Like, you didn't have to do the exact goddamn thing. Yeah, with the head oh, turn and everything. Yeah. Like, he, he could be curious about anybody he killed. He should have switched up the kill. What really would have been cool if he would have just taken the knife and split it up through her head and sliced her top of her body in half. Yeah, I mean, I think it only, it only really works the first time because he's so evil. He's just like, hmm. But when you do it every single time. Yeah, Robin said, so he left a handprint on the glass? <laughs> yeah, oh, he left exactly. his handprint his blood and I guarantee semen at the It's scene. ridiculous. He yeah. takes advantage of it and leaves a handprint knowing that he was there. Is that cut on his hand still from the Yoohoo? Shock yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, I've been a couple of years. Been a few, they've only known each other for like a week, right? Yeah, they yeah. have. Or less. You know, this is typical small town right here. Known each other for a couple of days and dreaming about running away. And this guy came right out of 1978. <laughs> yeah, he's got the fro, got the gold chain. You're that creepy woman's granddaughter. I mean, I kind of Believe side the with the radio DJ, right? They're I'm not really sure what the problem with them is. They're just like there. Well, they're oh, well, come on. If they get if they get injured on his property, he could get sued. They're just yeah, they climbing all roof. over his radio station. Oh, is that why he fits? Because they were on his roof? Yeah. She's like, why did you jump, jump off the roof? We could have just stayed up there and made out. God. Good job, Laurie. Just watching all of this bad shit. So she follows him here with the girl, but lets him... Oh, do you think Laurie's the ultimate cuck? She wants to watch her granddaughter get it on with this guy? Oh, God. Flaking off. There it is. Oh, there it is, there it is. Carmelo. Oh, there it is. You called it, Carmelo. You yeah. knew it was coming. Oh, some great at predicting movies, you know? October 31st, baby. I so this is the house. Would occur in this movie. He lays on the blood splurge, the blood stain. Oh, God. This guy is just the worst. So he just like woke up there. Okay. This is fucked up. I don't know what the fuck's going on now. She's like figured out he's a serial killer. and See, this movie is just about him. It's not even about Michael Myers. It's just yeah, about she's Corey. Like Being all like badass and everything actually serves no purpose. She didn't serve any purpose in the second movie. She just sat in the hospital the whole time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, she was in the locked, locked up in the hospital the whole time. This kid doesn't need a speak a speech. This kid needs her to walk in there while he's sleeping, and her just beat the shit out of him. He said, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, is she coming on to him a little bit? I think a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you I blame her? I mean, he gets beat up by band kids. He's got a cut on his hand. This is the sexiest motherfucker in Anfield. Yeah, I think he'd be into it because it's basically like docking because it's just going to be a loose flap of dry skin that he can pull over the tip of his penis. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this movie is like a sitcom backdoor pilot where we focus on different characters the whole show and the main cast makes uh, make cameos. Yeah. That's pretty much it, Robin. Exactly. Yeah, Robin it up. That's it in a nutshell. I think that's what disappoints me about this. Like, genuinely disappoints me is I, I don't mind this kid's storyline. I thought that was all very interesting, but it's a Halloween movie with almost no Michael. Exactly. And and this is the worst part. At the end, they just get this kid and his whole storyline out of the way. It doesn't matter at all. Just yeah. 
I, I don't even understand why they even made it then. I'm like, it doesn't matter, right? Fuck. Because the end of this yeah. movie is the end we all want to see, which is the final battle of, you know, Michael and Laurie, the thing they that's on the fucking poster of the movie, right? Yeah. So they, they're just like, well, we, we'll give you that, but literally nothing else before it, and we're going to tell you another movie instead, and then we're going to skip the ending of that movie. Oh, exactly. I, just, I, don't I don't Yeah, they, they, like, shuffle his, his story aside and then cut right to Michael like, and Laurie. I'm like, what the fuck? They just yeah. instantly take the teeth out of the movie and Laurie, like, seeing if I can't have her, nobody have her, can have her. Just have Laurie be like, oh, I, would, I thought that's what you'd say, and just have her just shoot him and kill him. Yeah. 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 Pop. And then she's she buries the body. The evil, yeah. you know, everybody can be evil. And then she still has the showdown with Michael. He's yeah. oh my god, he's riding that motorcycle. It reminds me of Friday the Thirteenth Part Five. <laughs> mama, mama, they hurt me, mama. <laughs> well, if that's the way you feel about it. Just forget it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm making your lunch, Junior. You oh. can't just go in there and shove Michael around, buddy. I mean, like Michael just lifted a woman up off the ground and got his superhuman stab power yeah. on and he's struggling with this kid who got his ass kicked by band kids do you what know is he trying he to is? do he's trying to dock him forcefully <laughs> <laughs> yeah took the mask uh oh is that what he took was the mask yeah no. oh okay yeah oh, oh shit that so was all right that was cool that was cool yeah did none of these people live through the other two movies like, like I don't. Yeah, it's like it. I just showed I up. Don't understand it. Like, obviously Michael Myers isn't who Laurie is. Like, how is? The, oh my God, it's so frustrating. The hysteria that she caused. What the fuck is this? I'm pretty Man. sure the. I'm pretty sure the maniac killer caused the hysteria. Yeah. <laughs> Our on. target. Our target. Our target. Party moment, Dennis Rodman. Yeah, oh, Ooh, oh Billy's dead. Yep, that drumstick, bleached eyebrows is dead. I love how they're all surprised, too. Like, why would he even do that? Yeah, why would he even try to kill us? What do you mean he's dead? Get him, get him. Yeah, why, is really this one. why are these girls a part of this? This, this, yeah, gang? I don't even think they're in band. Like, like, why, why'd they get dragged into this? Well, the one girl got away. Good. I do like this part. I remember this. Yeah, part. this part's cool. Yeah. And... Oh, oh yes. Yeah. So sweet. Like even when they threw him off the bridge, they were like, "Stop! Stop!" Like what? Like why are they still with? Yeah. The ass. If, if I owned a junkyard, I would watch Van Damme movies all night long. Oh, yeah. yeah. How does it feel to be hunted? Why did she go back, man? She was free. We can help. Oh, she wanted to help her friend that just got smashed by the fucking fence. There's no way she's alive. Where is her friend? Oh yeah, she's still. Yes, she is. You're gonna be clock. Oh, I wanted to see the wrench. It's a good thing that all of them are armed with like eight Winchester rifles in this town. Yeah. Oh, oh what the? Oh, so weak. How they already did that in the other movie. That was a great shot, by the way. It was kid. a great shot. That kid how was did, dead on. How the heck did he shoot How's him straight kid? in the head? Wait. A lot of gun training and band camp. Oh. Yeah. Double oh, team. Oh, double team. Double team. Double team. Double team. Okay. Oh. Face crush. Oh, God. Oh, that was, that was and a car crush. That was pretty good. This isn't a bad, yeah. like, storyline standalone movie, but right. to just be oh. mixing in. I think Maury's the storyline is the problem with the movie. I think it's a good Halloween movie if we delete everything about Corey, everything about Laurie's granddaughter. Well, I was sort of saying the opposite. Like it, it doesn't need to be a Halloween movie if it was just this random movie about like this court about the psycho kid. Yeah. And, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, we need more Will Patton. It doesn't need to be. Yeah, but if it was a Halloween movie, I agree with Rob. It should just be get the kid out of here, Laurie, Will Patton. Like this movie would have been better no. if Michael wasn't in it at all. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. He's missing from the first, essentially missing for the first hour and twenty minutes. Corey gets the first hour and twenty. Then they fuck Corey. We're done with him. Bring Michael in for the last ten minutes. And I agree it. with you. Hundred percent. Like hundred uh, percent. Diary of a teenage cuck. Very, very, very name. I should say. Oh, oh look at that! that was great. 
Oh, oh, he, that's, oh, that's, oh, that's, oh that's, that's some good that shit. That was a good one. That was a good, yeah. that was a good kill. But it wouldn't kill you. No, the bashing his skull in, that's what killed him. He just would have yeah. broke his jaw. That wouldn't have killed him. We gotta watch Portal Shoot Master so, now. That was so bad. Isn't that, that bad? That was nice. I like that nod to the, yeah. to the picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How the fuck does she know to get her gun out? Like... She's got she's got Michael's tingling sense, like you said. And it's not. It's mm -hmm. like a little thirty-eight. I mean, this this one was packing. Oh, oh, do it, Lori. Oh, so oh, this, oh get, it's not only knowing to get the gun out; it's knowing to fake her own suicide. Oh uh, yeah, she does fake it, right? Yeah. I really what happens now. She, she just keeps the pumpkins she knows inside the house. Watching. She knows someone's watching. Well, she just carved them a couple nights ago. Dude, you put them outside. Oh, look at that! She shot the pumpkin. Yep, and whoever is behind the door thinks no. Ooh. <gasps> what? Oh, was that Corey? Yeah, she's like, he's dead. No, 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 no need to even look. <laughs> that, little that little thirty-eight wouldn't do much. It only held four rounds. Well, no. Two. Why she? Why shots. she do that? Because <laughs> she's an idiot. Ooh. Oh, I'm telling you, she's coming on to him. I'll be right. And is. this whole other plot line is the stupidest thing here coming up. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah, I don't get it. If I can't have her, no one can. It's everyone else can. And then, he, and, then, and then he just sets it up like. Now everyone grandma, else can. Grandma, everyone grandma, but you. you. And of course, you she do, walks grandma. in and right as that happen. Yeah. Michael Myers has a better shot with her now than he does because Michael's still alive. Yes. yes. <laughs> what did you do, Granny? What did you do to him? It's just the stupidest plot lines. Yeah, this is... <sighs> now he's out of the picture. I don't think I would have ran over and pulled the knife out of his neck. He's obviously... I would have just been like, all right. <laughs> all right. You uh, went a little bit, little bit overboard there, buddy. Oh. <laughs> he, came, he came in and tried to kill me. Yeah. And the fact that the whole town blames Laurie in this one for no reason, including her granddaughter, is just the stupidest thing. Oh, he, there's no way he's alive. There's no still. way he's still alive. There's just no way. He just put a freaking 12 inch blade through in his, his neck. neck, the middle of his neck. Yeah. On the side yeah. Of the how neck. is he? Yeah. No, he's super. Yeah. Dock me one more time, Michael. I think oh. they just wanted Michael to be the one to kill him. Ooh. Some no effing right way. Yeah, no fucking way. Oh. Just Dude, wouldn't happen. I don't think breaking the neck was necessary. He, he was pretty much dead. That's yeah. exactly what I'm talking about. The whole movie was about him. And then he's just like, get out of the way so I can have the end of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. And I then mean, nine year old Lori. Beat, left. Spoiler alert, nine year old Lori like they they have hand to hand combat. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is this movie? Is somebody popcorn. making popcorn? Oh, there's a microwave. There's, there's or a microwave. Oh, something in the microwave. In the something in the microwave. Oh. She distracted him with it, I think. When Corey was wearing the mask, it didn't seem like it was that like melted and uh, old man. No. Um, pretty melted from the end of the Halloween. Chris movie. says, "Where's Will Patton?" I know. I know. Really? It is Will Patton. Exactly. Seriously, Chris. I know. He's only in like two scenes. To watch these two senior citizens beat each other up. Yeah. Okay, she she just be dead now. Lori's what? <laughs> Lori's 67. They're like the same age. Lori's 67. Lori yeah, would Lori... be a little younger than him. Lori oh, yeah, would have been like five right. or six yeah, but... no, So Lori's like young. 60 and he's 67. Yeah. Lori's got a gut full of prebiotics and Activia right now. So. <laughs> yeah. You just shit her oh. pants already. Oh. Okay, so like, I mean, she's dead at this yeah. point. Like, her skull is crushed, ribs are broken. Just picture doing this to like your mom. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. And how? And garbage disposal. How? How does? There you she, go. There you how go. does she shove his hand down with one hand? Chris says Will Patton's probably watching an old baseball game, having a couple PBRs. Yeah. Sounds like exactly oh, what he's doing. That's that. exactly. Oh. What I the knitting needle, like the size <laughs> of a lawn dart. Yeah. 
Oh. He's like, not this time, bitch. Get her. Oh, oh in the oh, ear. Get her. Just rooting for it. Come on, just just slap down. This movie will be over. I sort of like that she goes through the mask. Oh, on the head. She oh. did, she's not strong enough to stab that knife through, like, butcher block. I mean, the butcher block is designed to not be stabbed through. Yeah, dude, it, it went through some of it, right? Like, all of it. He pinned him to the table. Okay. Yeah, she really overpowered him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, another hand down. Oh, that went the butcher block, too, Rob. Oh, okay, that makes more sense there. Yeah, yeah. Except the knife would have broken. Yeah, um, and I don't... Yeah, it would be tough to hit a knife with a pan like a nail and have it go right in. She freaking took that fridge yeah, like it was like a foam piece. Strong that, right? Yeah. Like a foam fridge. Now she's like... <laughs> What that dick do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that. <laughs> I'm gonna cut what that dick do. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that off. <laughs> it's like you cut that guy's tongue off. Oh! Is that under the armpit? Fuck! Oh, under the armpit? Is it? What? It's hard to tell. That's yeah, I think back. so. The only thing that's missing is that he'd have a massive erection right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The, just, the erection would lift the fridge up and give him his yeah. Own, yeah, he'd just be spurting semen. Oh, he looks like the fly with that terrible beard. Uh, <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Got a strong grip for all his and then uh -huh. torn up. I'm sure when they wrote this speech, they were like, oh, it's going to be so good. Now he's just a man. Stops breathing. No! Oh! Whoa. Where the fuck were oh, you? I was close. The fucking sh sh sheriff dipshit. He's like, I was... They had the replay of the 89... Uh, now they're going to they're gonna tie him Trump's to the car. winning the World Series. <laughs> they're going to tie him to like parade him around town. Lampoons. Parade him around town. Let people just throw eggs at him. And everybody's like, "Come, come on, other houses! Come on, come on out, kids! Look well, at the dead body on the roof! Come on out!" What a great fucking like the whole fucking town is lined up. Oh god! And yeah. no one's apologizing to Lori. Like, sorry, we said you were responsible for Lori's this murder. Lori's still laying on the like... ground, just on the wood floor. No every, every, everything about the movies kind of revolves around these. Omo shots of the town, how Michael affected the town and the community, but the community fucking sucks. This, that These was the whole the point of Halloween people. Kills, is he like looks at the town and hates it and decides he wants to kill everybody. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I, they, but they're like, they're leaning on it like we're supposed to like these people or these people are surf, nothing but stuck crowd surf. Movies. Every person in this town deserves to die. Agreed. Every one of them. A thousand percent. And if I lived in Southern Illinois, I'd want to kill everyone in the town. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's great. Holy. That's pretty good. That was badass. Yeah, but he's going to like come back. We're going to get another. They've already announced. Are we? Yeah, because, yeah. because Rob Zombie's doing it, right? This is going to be the shittiest book ever written as well. Just her and her monologues are terrible. And now the town can finally get back together to being... A bunch of animals that have always been. <laughs> My grandma's a hero now. Oh, no, there's the mask. Alright, oh, oh, mask oh, play in there. Oh, mine says next Ricky up, Bobby's the crow. Talladega Nights. Alright, guys. Well, thanks for, for joining us. We'll catch you next time. Alright, guys. Later. Later. Later.